European run, was it anything that when you came to the club that you could ever have imagined happening? Well, no, not at, not uh, when Kevin brought me in at first now, but as I say, at that time I was just trying to get into the team and trying to get a regular place, but as the as the years went on, uh, you could see it improving ever so slightly. And then obviously when Stephen came on, it, it moved on considerably and the European was kind of in our sights and that kind of run was was always on the cars and capable of doing it. But how capable of doing it? How like what what made this side more special than the sides that were previously there? Well, the energy and the youth all together kind of combined, and obviously the camaraderie as well. And the squad was was something else. A lot of them, a lot of the guys played together at D and D level and knew each other from the youth teams, and it just uh, kind of all came came together nicely and did well. Do you think that the fact that maybe some of the more experienced players in the side had number one maybe been there and done it at League of Ireland level and those younger boys maybe some of the younger boys had been to England and had sampled professionalism do you think that that basically rubbed off on other players in the squad that maybe hadn't got that experience definitely uh, definitely the experienced guys like the likes of Harrigan and Peter and Gary Beckett de- definitely did rub off on the, the guys that came back from England and even uh, the guys that hadn't came over had, had I was brought up through the through the youth system, definitely rubbed off on them. And from a personal point of view, what was the highlight for you of, of the European Games last year? Definitely, uh, probably the PSG walking on that, the Parc de Prix in, in France. It was, it was something else now, definitely, when you came out there and hearing the fans singing. And uh, what was it like to have the best sight to see the house and you didn't have to pay for it? Uh, it was brilliant. <laughs> to see everything, it was uh, excellent. No, all all joking aside, like was that the highlight for you? Like people will turn around and from a fan's point of view, maybe people will turn around and say the players will probably think it was Gretna. Was it for you? Well, that, that well, that kind of stadium now definitely it was it was something spectacular. Like they they, they have the opportunity maybe playing something like that. Uh, but again, the the atmosphere at the Gretna game was fantastic, and obviously the the goal scored and the result was something special. Now, going back away to the start of it, what, what was your initial views when um, you heard that they had drawn Gothenburg and everybody looked and says Gothenburg, they've won the UEFA Cup before, what a side, but um, they didn't live up to your reputation? They didn't, in fairness, I was I was in that in that boat as well, I just thought Gothenburg, like European winner, Cup winners, UEFA Cup, I just thought, definitely, not. we haven't got very much of a chance, but whenever we watched them uh, a couple of days before the game and saw that we were more than capable of giving them a run for their money, and out there, what do you remember of the game out there? Um, uh, the game out there. Well, as I said, we watched them before the uh, before the night or before the game, couple of nights before the game, and we thought we could, if we got at them, hassled them and harried them, and didn't give them time in the ball, and kept pushed them back, that we could get at least get a, a draw out of it. And what was your views when uh, Hargy got in the end of Kevin Deary's corner? Uh, I don't remember much of jumping up on running onto the pitch but uh, uh, it was a great goal now a very a brave header uh, from the corner and it went nicely into the top corner and your own you got a, a taste of the action what what did it mean to you to, to get on and, and be part of what was a historic result for Derry City well at that time it was, it was fantastic it was just like uh, the first European experience and it was a great game to come on and only got about five minutes but the, uh, the the pace of the game was, was very, very high. Now, back at Brandywell, similar scenario. You weren't involved from the start, but it was a special occasion too, given the, the atmosphere here in Brandywell. Well, it was, it was packed at rafters, and uh, I think it, Gothenburg got a got a shock when they walked into Brandywell and seen the passion from the fans. It was uh, it was something else that night. And when you say Gothenburg got a, got a shock when they walked into Brandywell and, and the, the passion from the fans... Uh, do you think that they get a shock when they walked into Brandywell and seen the, the passion in the change rooms? <laughs> definitely, most, most definitely. Now, after, after winning the, uh, the game in, in Gothenburg, Derry were drawn against Gretna. What the, the, did you feel, this is a game weekend win, or, or were you on the, in the camp, listen, it's going to be tough, but um, 
we have to fancy our chances. No, well, whenever the, we heard what teams we could draw, Gretna definitely stood out as a team that we would fancy our chances against very highly. Um, they were obviously they had a few uh, a few pound back them through their chairman and stuff like that, but they were definitely a team that we were capable of beating. And from the point of view of Fir Park, that night, what did you what did you think when you came out and what did it did it mean sort of when you saw that so big a crowd of travel from Derry over to over to Scotland they they get behind the team? I honestly couldn't believe it. The players beforehand were talking about it. It was it was really something else. That whole stand on the left hand side is. As we were sitting down, was was different class and was just something to be savoured. And as for the match itself, what was the reaction on the bench when when uh, Gretna went in front? Uh, well, it was kind of like they went they they got they got their goal and they were they were, they were passing it about nicely, but we always felt that we had we had enough in the in the tank to cause them problems and we were going to pull it back. And then Darren Kelly's goal. Very good. Uh, I can remember the ball going down the left. I think it was Sean Hargan crossed it in, and uh, Darren is always in the air, is, is fantastic, and he just got there and put it down in the bottom corner, and from then on, and I think we just never looked back. Now, from from being involved and being privy to a lot of what was going on in the changing room, the dressing room, the instructions from Stephen and, and Declan and Paul Haggerty to the players and so on and so forth, would you ever have thought at half time in Fir Park what actually was going to happen over the next 45 minutes in the second half of that match? Definitely not. It was uh, it was the second half just couldn't have went any better. Uh, probably was uh, the case of more of the same and just keep it tight at the back and we, we were capable of scoring maybe one or two goals but to get to get a five one victory after the, the final whistle was, was something else and the way the goals were scored was spectacular.